Hello and welcome back to Run Level Zero. Uh, I was looking at some of the analytics for the reviews that I've posted and by far my Manjaro open box review is the most popular. Um, I've also done another review on Manjaro Cinnamon which has had quite a few hits as well. So I thought I'd go back. Manjaro is a worthwhile distribution. It is probably one of my favorite uh, projects that I've seen in a long time. So I wanted to go back and give some time to the other uh, desktop implementations on Manjaro and see what, uh, show you what else is available. Uh, so we're going to kick it off today. We're going to look at Manjaro 0.8.7 Acela, and this is the XFCE desktop. Uh, the XFCE version is the other, uh, along with uh, Openbox, is the other official uh, desktop implementation on Manjaro. There are several other uh, community editions that I'm going to get to as well. So let's take a look at XFCE, show you what it has to offer. Now Manjaro uh, borrows heavily from Linux Mint uh, several of the applications and one of them is the login manager. This is MDM, this is the Mint Display Manager. It uh, supports several different types of theming. You can use GDM theming, MDM theming, and it also supports HTML5 themes, which are th those are pretty nice to look at if you like a little bit of eye candy. They support, uh, th they'll give you an active theme background. In fact, there is an active version of this one where the, the clouds actually move. So if you like a little bit of eye candy on your login screen, uh, MDM is really good for that. So let's log in and show you what the XFCE version of Manjaro has to offer. The XFCE desktop is one that uh, sits kind of in the middle of Linux desktops as far as uh, resource needs, themeability, and graphics. Um, it's not as uh, heavy on the eye candy as say something like Cinnamon or KDE but it's not a bare bones uh, system either so it's, it's going to fall right in the middle so if you like a little bit of transparency on your windows but you still want to conserve a lot of your resources xfce might be up your up your uh, up your alley there so manjaro if you're not familiar with it is a arch based distribution arch is probably one of the mess the the best documented uh, Linux distributions out there. It has one of the largest support communities and that's because Arch is designed to be built from scratch by the user. What Manjaro has done is they've built a base system that has all the drivers, all the codecs, all the configurations already done for you. So you get the benefits of the Arch uh, distribution which is st speed, stability, and a rolling release cycle. But you get it in such a way that you, it's it's as little fuss as possible out of the box out of, out of the box so you're gonna have all of your flash your codecs your drivers all that stuff's gonna be pre-installed in fact um, Manjaro does one of the best jobs I've seen at detecting and implementing hardware and drivers for hardware um, I'm running this in open box in a virtual I've dedicated two processors and two gigs of RAM to it and one of the things that I noticed even booting up the live version of Manjaro XFCE was that it detected that it was in a virtual and installed the appropriate hardware so it gave me a full screen experience even in the live version. I've not had to install uh, any guest editions to get this feature so that's just a testament to Manjaro's <coughs> ability to detect and install hardware and hardware drivers. The XFCE desktop is going to be appropriate for beginners because it's going to provide a Windows friendly uh, desktop experience. The layout of the desktop is going to be very familiar. You're going to have one primary desktop with a beautiful wallpaper, icons for your home directory, root file system, and your trash folder you're going to have one bar or one panel along the bottom by default. On the lower right hand side you have your session manager, 
that's going to allow you to log out, restart, shut down. A battery monitor if applicable. You have your notification area. It's telling me I have updates available. This is a clean install so there are several updates waiting. Your volume control is here. Network manager. Clipboard, mo uh, clipboard manager. The system clock and calendar. And a pager. If you're not familiar with Linux, this is where you control your virtual desktops. Uh, it comes with default with two, but you can add as many as you want. So that if you have something open here on on one desktop, you want to keep it running, you can switch over to another virtual desktop and have a clean workspace while not having to close what's open on the other one. Uh, while we have it open here, this is the file manager for uh, XFCE. It's running running Thunar 1.6.3. Thunar is a very fast and uh, capable file manager. It doesn't have all the bells and whistles that you would find in something like Nemo or Nautilus, but it's it gets the job done. Open windows will be displayed on the central portion of the panel, and on the lower left you have a application menu and Manjaro does make use of XFCE's newer whisker menu which I really like. It's a, it's a modern themable uh, application menu. It does support searching uh, via the, the search bar here. You have quick access to your settings manager, lock the screen, and your uh, session manager. You can pin your favorite applications to the the uh, application menu. You can look at your favorites recently used. Uh, then you have your subcategories here. Uh, under accessories you get the applic an application finder, archive manager, Thunar's bulk rename utility, catfish file search, uh, clipman, G calculator, G edit is your text editor. Let's see, HP device manager, a notes utility, Orange Global Time screenshot utility, a sensor viewer. If so, if you want to keep an eye on your uh, internal temperatures, task manager, and Thunar file manager. So your task manager. All right. There is a development menu where you have Open GDK policy tool and several Qt development utilities. For games, you have Steam installed. Under graphics, there's a PDF viewer. You get the GIMP for your uh, graphics needs and View Noir. For internet, Firefox is the web browser of choice here. You get HexChat, Pigeon Internet Messenger, again another link to Steam, and Thunderbird for your email. Under multimedia, you have your volume control and audio mixers. Let's see. QT V4 L2 test utility says it allows testing of video for Linux devices. Okay. VLC is the media player. XF Burn for a lightweight disk burning utility. And X Noise. Under Office, you get the LibreOffice suite. Again, your PDF viewer, Orange Calculator, and Orange Global Time. And under settings, you have the XFCE settings menu. Now, XFCE is highly themable, um, supports a, a variety of, I believe it's GTK themes. So you can make it look how you want, but to be honest, I really like Manjaro's theming. Uh, the theming is consistent throughout the system, a very pleasant black, gray, and green theme. In fact, I believe it looks like they're, you know, they've also borrowed Mint's icons. These, these look like the uh, Linux Mint icons here that they're using. All right, go back to settings. Firewall configuration. The firewall is installed and easily configured from here. Uh, if you don't have any specific needs for firewall rules, uh, it's generally safe to leave the firewall configura configuration at its default settings. You can change your login photo. This is where you're going to control uh, your login MDM settings. Prompts for the password. 
here you go and you can choose your styles you can add new themes HTML themes GDM GTK themes you can use clouds or clouds clouds with WebGL which makes the uh, makes the clouds actually fly so that's pretty cool and there are several themes pre-installed so they give you a lot of options right out of the box here and just again your 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 average settings manager nothing really special or over the top here and then under your system menu you have your package manager which I believe they're using Pac-Man yep okay don't want to go through all this stuff just yet so we'll get rid of that see again bulk rename utility your firewall gparted is installed the Manjaro welcome take a peek at that real quick because when you first log in Manjaro has this welcome utility here where you can read documentation see the new features visit their wiki wiki uh, or you can get involved make donations visit the chat or the forums so this can be a good utility or a good resource for if you have any questions on Manjaro this would be a good place to start All right, and hmm, looks like really that's about it so give Manjaro XFCE a try who who's gonna like Manjaro XFCE if you have a say a middle-of-the-road hardware type machine at least two gigs of RAM um, if you're a new user to Linux and, and want to try a system that's going to be reliable and you don't have to worry about upgrading in the future that with the rolling release cycle it'll it'll just continually update itself and upgrade itself a no muss no fuss easy to use system Manjaro is probably going to be a good choice for you again it's it has all the codecs all the drivers everything you need for your daily computing tasks are already installed in Manjaro and it provides you a beautiful desktop experience so in keeping with the other Manjaro uh, desktop implementations this is a winner you, you really cannot go wrong with any of the Manjaro uh, uh, releases in my opinion so please download it and give it a try uh, please like subscribe or comment leave your questions comments or emotional outbursts and below and I hope to be with you again soon for another video thank you